Well, what's the deal? This campground is a self-service pay station and the envelopes are probably usually in this bag. And then after you put your money in, they go into a slot that's in this container here. So they, free. So this means it's for us, it's free. Today we are camping in a campground next to a lake, next to Mount Adams, Washington. And we happen to show up a few days before the official opening of the campground. We're staying in site number three, which I really like. And so this campground is free. There's no signs that say closed and we talked to the camp host. And a short little trail down here goes to the lake. This is a really nice campground. It's fairly high in elevation, so it has a fairly short season that you can actually make it up in here. And if you look at this area in Google Maps, it's just in a triangle, on the edge of the triangle, between Mount Adams, Mount St. Helens, and Mount Rainier. So we're deep in the Cascade mountain range. And it is beautiful up here. We've got a great view of the lake. There's a lot of people out there fishing. I watched one guy catch a rainbow trout that must have been at least 20 inches long. There's a trail that goes all the way around the lake. And if you catch this on a clear day, you'll have the most spectacular view of Mount Adams because we are close. The camp host was just telling us that this campground only 10 days ago had over a foot of snow in it. And if you walk around a little bit, you'll still find a couple of small patches of snow. So this campground not opening till July, officially. You can camp here before season and after season as long as you can get here. But that's pretty cool. Snow up here all the way into July. We are going to take a walk around Taklac Lake and today's a perfect example of how you want to be prepared even in the summertime for cool weather. Yeah, it's June 30th and it's 49 degrees and it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's going to be quite chilly tonight. Yeah, we are deep in the Cascades so and fairly high in elevation. So we're definitely getting some of that nice cool weather. I'm a little bit bummed I guess because there's a rainstorm moving through here and the clouds are covering Mount Adams so I'm not getting that great view of Mount Adams all the snow cap it's pretty spectacular when Re you can see it yeah I was hoping it was going to reflect in the lake and get all these crazy cool pictures but we can pretend like we're in Alaska and it's Mount Denali yeah it does feel like Alaska <laughs> kind of weather through here and the lake is absolutely gorgeous and I'm really bummed that I don't have a kayak yeah so this does look like the perfect kayaking lake. Yeah, there are 54 campsites here and we were just super lucky that we came on days that are free. Yeah, because tomorrow <laughs> you have to pay to stay here. So we'll be leaving yeah. um, tomorrow. 
and finding another free camping area. Yeah, and it's twenty dollars a night, so that's not really a bad price. But it's gonna be extremely packed for the Fourth of July weekend. So, Rudel's really excited about this trail. Which way are we going, Rudel? Oh, you're on the trail of something. Oh boy, he really is. Did it go this way? I don't know what these are, but they look like combines. Except Aren't they they're, pretty? They're white. I have to look those up in there. What do you think, Rudel? <laughs> oh my gosh, Rudel. Rudel does like them. <laughs> does this smell good? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Rudel. We need to train Rudel to identify wild edibles. <laughs> it just keeps getting darker and darker. I think it's going to rain. Nope, it's going to clear up. It's going to yeah. be blue sky. Yeah, I like that idea, but... We can see the mountain. <laughs> it's not going to rain because we didn't bring our rain gear. <laughs> that means it's going to rain. That's how that works. This little creek right here, it's like it's going under natural tunnels. And then it just appears for just a little while. And then it goes right back underground again. That's pretty neat. Brutal is excited today. <laughs> I don't know why. He is super excited. Yeah, he likes exploring too. Brutal the Explorer. See the little ferns coming off for the opening? Oh yeah, they look really delicate. There is a mushroom here, and it looks like it's pretty much expired, and I definitely can't ID it, but... Oh, <laughs> how does Rudel do that? He knows exactly what I'm talking about. Went ahead and gave it a sniff just to see if it was all that... That's cool. Oh, oh boy. Good job. He was definitely in four wheel drive mode. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Go, Brutal, go. He did that all on his own. He just gets going sometimes. Gets the zoomies. You gonna make it, Carrie? I don't know. Well, don't fall down. I made it. Good job. <laughs> Brutal. I like how the little rails are just made from small trees. That's cool. No need to buy milled trees for it. They just used what they had.
We're hiding from Rodel. He went way ahead of us. We're gonna see if he gets scared and turns around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you found us. Don't go ahead of us, Bubby. <laughs> yeah, stay with us, Rudel. Here. Yeah, there is. That one goes to Tech Lake Meadows. This is how you know your dog's a ball brain. We've been walking way off in the middle of the woods on this trail. Rudel somehow found a tennis ball. I don't know where he got it from, but he's pretty proud of himself. Good job, Rudel. I think the best part about this spot is the view. <laughs> <laughs> Which you can't tell, but there's a magnificent mountain behind us, Mount Adams. And we're very close to it, so if the clouds lift, it's going to look like a giant snow-capped mountain. Yeah, and we talked to a local who said every time he comes here, he gets spectacular pictures of the mountain reflecting in the water. Yeah. And we haven't seen the mountain for two days. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I love about this is this is a crystal clear lake. Definitely bring your kayak, your float tube, your electric motorboat. Yeah, and your fishing gear. So we've just heard that they have stocked this with 1,000 18 inch rainbow trout. Yeah. I was talking to a local. He said there's also eastern brook trout in here and brown trout. So fishing is very mm -hmm. popular here. Most of these guys are fly fishing. Uh, from boats, but there's a couple fishing from shores. The fishing looks pretty darn good. Yeah. So I wish we could show you, but <laughs> can't control Mother Nature. Yep. <laughs> okay, what you need to know about this campground. It's a seasonal campground. Today is July 1st and it just opened officially for the season. Now the camp host told us 10 days ago there was 10 inches of snow here. Yeah. There are 54 campsites, seven vault toilets, and no potable water. So bring your own water. My favorite campsites here, if you're looking to reserve one or just check them out, is number three, number seven, 
and number, number 44. Yeah, in our opinion, those are the best. Yeah, and if you have a boat, I would definitely go for number seven and number or number 44. Yeah. There is no cell reception here, so don't plan on any connection at all. And if you plan on coming on a holiday weekend, this place is going to be extremely busy. Yeah, expect a lot of people. Uh, for us, we're definitely going to come probably off season if we come back uh -huh. again. And after September 15th, it closes. It closes. So if there's no snow that you can actually still get up here, you can still free camp. Yeah. A pretty old nice site overall. Again, it's summertime. Make sure you bring your bug spray. Yeah. Mosquitoes uh, are pretty, pretty thick through here yesterday. Yep. Bring some warm gear as well because it could be really chilly. And here we are at our favorite campsite, number three. Although the campground was nice at Taklak Lake, they are charging $20 a day now to stay the night. And that's with, you know, you're pretty much side by side other campers. So we went to the National Forest only a quarter mile away from that campground where there is this campsite that is free. And this is definitely our style. So we'll just walk the quarter of the mile to the lake when we want to view the lake. And meanwhile, we get a lot of privacy, a lot quieter spot here. And as you can see, Carrie's killing mosquitoes. When we first pulled up, the engine was running, so it was warm and it was attracting like thousands of mosquitoes. But now that, like now that the motor's cooled down, not too bad. it's not that but bad. Get you guys one of these, these are awesome. But yeah, these are fun. We've been here four days and just starting to break camp and head out and the sun finally pokes through. Yes, we haven't seen the sun the entire time. So we're gonna go back and see if we can actually get a view of the mountain. And if we can see the mountain, we're going to get the drone up, get the camera out, mm -hmm. and take advantage of the situation. Boy, the sun came out just in time. Cause... Yeah, another half hour later and we would have missed the whole, the whole thing. All right, let's go check it out. watching please subscribe comment click the bell button yep and we'll catch you next video happy boondocking If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron or check out our new merchandise at oneadvancereatatime.com. We also have stickers available in our website store. Thank you for watching.